best course uh, of action for hostages to find a safe place to go in the, uh, in the event of a rescue attempt and do not get up until the authorities pull you up themselves. You have one life, live your life, follow your dream. They should have known that she was almost out of oxygen. Welcome to northeastern Pakistan and a new season of the Fifth Estate. Killing is a way of life. Killed their son-in-laws, guys killed their brother-in-laws, guys killed their cousins. <laughs> Holy s oh. Did you have anything to do with the mayor? This is their cash, this is their money. They were literally showing people suitcases cash, of money? Yeah. She had a very serious allegation of sexual assault, of having been raped. First on my plate, we'll be addressing the issue of harassment and sexual harassment in the workplace. Look at this stuff coming up on the left. There's a piece of the boat right there. Yep. I'm Bob McEwen from the Fifth Estate. How you I think doing? you know we've been trying to talk to you for months now. Yeah. Uh, we've got a camera crew right there. Let's do it. The last thing she ever said to me was, I, I can't breathe. This is precious. You've been hit. You've been hit. You've been hit. OK, so just shake the baby. Begin. Oh, my that. We're trying to push those envelopes and get faster and faster. I can hear people sobbing. I can hear people screaming. Our sport's dangerous. That's why it's fun. Walking that fine line between exhilaration and injury. Excuse me. Skyball? Hello? Can I introduce myself? Uh, come on, please. I want to take my card. No, uh, just appreciate okay, it. I'd like to talk to you, please. Which was worse, the sugar or the fat? The sugar a thousand times over. This is a good day for Canadian justice. And how often do you smoke? Every day. So the guards just started beating her on the head senselessly. They are young girls, they're naive and they're trusting. They're not expecting that there's a person who's out to extort me. This man is a totally anti-Pakistan man. He would be telling, filling in all lies. All right, we'll be 